From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston. Here are your updated headlines. We're up to 99. Tennessee's confirmed number of COVID-19 cases approaches triple digits as the community feels the impact of this outbreak in a number of ways. In an update today, Governor Bill Lee said 58 of those cases are in Davidson County. A number of other counties have had their first cases confirmed. The Department of Health says most patients fall within the age range of 18 to 49. We know in Davidson County, two cases are being treated in the hospital. All others are self-isolating at home with mild symptoms. Kentucky's Governor Andy Bashir announced that state's count has risen to 35 confirmed patients, including an eight-month-old being treated at home. With social distancing prescribed as one of the best ways to slow the spread of the virus, many small businesses face some tough times. Today, Governor Lee announced some of the state's actions to hopefully provide financial assistance. The state has submitted a request to the Small Business Administration for relief opportunities for Tennesseans. His team is also pursuing loan assistance for small businesses along with private and nonprofit organizations. If you're a small business owner, you can find more information on NewsChannel5.com. And another day of cancellations and postponements as officials discourage public events and gatherings. Manchester Music Festival Bonnaroo has been rescheduled. The festival was scheduled as usual for mid-June, but it will now be September 24th through the 27th. And Nashville's Rock and Roll Marathon also will move from its April race date. Officials are still finalizing a new date. With every Tennessee school being closed by Friday, districts are making sure all children still have enough to eat. Metro Schools has been handing out boxed meals from Second Harvest, and starting next week, they'll provide free breakfast and lunch in a drive through setup. Locations for multiple districts, again, are listed on our website. All right, we made it through a Storm 5 alert. Here's Bree with the latest. Yeah, thankfully headed to a quieter night. Rest easy tonight. There may be a few stray showers that drift by your house. Not impossible for a rumble of thunder, but the severe threat 100% over. Now we will keep more storms around to end the work week and we'll keep an eye on them for strength potential. Just plan on it being unsettled Thursday and Friday with more on and off showers and thunderstorms around mid 70s as well on Thursday, technically still in the low 70s for Friday, but that cold air will slide in late afternoon. That's going to set the stage for a much cooler weekend, noticeably cooler with patchy frost possible by Sunday morning.